much for being here today. You're welcome. So talk to me about some developments in your market that international investors should take note of. Um, during the past five years, um, Thai capital market has been growing quite a lot. Our IPO during the past five years is roughly 20 billion US dollars, roughly 4 billion US dollars a year. Now the trading value is going up to something like 2.6 billion US dollar per day mm -hmm. and roughly 40 to 50 IPO every year from various uh, industries, big, small and um, manufacturing, technology, services. The number of investors are growing a lot also. During the past few years, the number going up to 5 million investors account in Thailand. So those are quite an improvement because before the COVID, actually we have roughly only 3 million account. But mm. during the COVID period, actually people start to open account um, non-face-to-face more and they are start to invest in the market significantly. And our market has been uh, very well uh, acknowledged on the sustainability concept practice of the listed company. Nowadays, there are 40 Thai listed companies in FTSE 4 Group. So I think um, it shows a lot of recognition from the institution investor all over the world. How has the retail and institutional participation grown in your market mm. and ASEAN as a whole? Mm. In Thai market, at the moment, the foreign investor proportion has been growing very quickly through the program trading and the high frequency trading activities that start to increase in Thailand. Good thing is that the retail investor side, like I mentioned to you, the number of the account growing a lot. So we have new investors coming in and it quite balanced the activity in the market. In ASEAN, it's quite similar, mm -hmm. especially in Indonesia. You uh, heard from uh, their market that they have been improving a lot on the participation of the retail market. What are some of the channels for global investors mm -hmm. to access ASEAN markets? At the moment, I would say there are two ways, direct and indirect. On the direct, certainly the broker um, in other country has been uh, investing a lot in Thailand. The biggest investor uh, that we saw come from Singapore, uh, UK, Hong Kong, and US. Those are the top four participation that come from overseas. And on the second way that investors can participate in Thai or ASEAN market is through the indirect way, ETF, mutual fund. The ETF, uh, we have one Thailand ETF here listing in the US run by BlackRock, and that is one of the largest uh, ETF uh, of Thailand in the world. Mm. Yeah. What is your outlook for 2023? Mm. I think it's going to be very, very challenging because there are so many uncertainty, especially on the conflict of the Russian and Ukraine and on the price of the oil, on the inflation, on the liquidity that uh, the central bank might uh, cut down all the, 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 the fund flow that um, it used to be during the, the crisis of the COVID. Um, I, I would say it's a challenging year, but when you look into the situation in each market is quite different. For example, when you look at ASEAN, mm. this is a new growing market and our area are very well diversified in each country. For example, when you think about Thailand, you think about hospi hospitality business, you think about the service business, mm. you think about the uh, exporting business. Those are the things that we are very strong and during the COVID, you will see that this industry in Thailand has been improving a lot by using technology. And that is why I think uh, we call it the new traditional business uh, or industry that has been growing quite significantly. At the moment, the GDP of our country is going beyond before the COVID pandemic mm -hmm. already. So you can see that even though our industry has been, been recovered fully, for example, on the tourist business or the hospitality business or the healthcare business, actually the GDP and the real business, the earnings growth has been coming back, uh, surpassing the pre-COVID era already. Terrific. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you so much.